Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Shubhankar. In this video, we will learn about IM factor means incidence angle modifier factor. We can check out this video in below topics. Definition The incidence angle modifier or IM is a way to account for optical losses that occur when the solar angle of incidence on the array surface is greater than zero. In other words, when the array surface is not perfectly normal to the rays from the sun, some energy is lost to reflection from the module surface materials. The incidence effect, the designated term is IM, for incidence angle modifier corresponds to the decrease of the irradiance really reaching the PV Celsius surface with respect to irradiance under normal incidence. This decrease is mainly due to reflections on the glass cover which increases with the incidence angle. Next slide is introduction. The transmission loss is a general phenomenon due to the reflection and transmission of the sun's ray at each material interface, air glass, glass eva, eva cell, as well as some absorption in the glass. This arises for any incidence ray. For normal incidence, the reflection is of the order of 5%, and is included in the measured STC performance. The IM only concerns the angular dependency of this effect, i.e. it is normalized to the transmission at perpendicular incidence, zero degrees incidence angle. An IM function, which describes the deficit of transmission as a function of the incidence angle. This function is applied either to the beam component and to the diffuse and albedo using an integral over all seen directions, supposing an isotropic distribution of the diffuse irradiance. Now we know about this slide is Fresnel's laws. In principle, this phenomenon obeys the Fresnel's laws describing transmission and reflections at the interface of two transparent materials of different refraction indexes N1 and N2. This is a very general behavior, derived from the general Maxwell's equations describing all electric phenomena. The Fresnel's laws are first applied to the air-glass interface. They describe the reflected ray and the transmitted ray. For the transmitted ray, it is applied to the interface glassiva and so on. These laws allow to calculate the light effectively reaching the cell's surface below the protective layer, usually glass, as a function of the incidence angle. Now you can add an anti-reflective coating on the top interface air glass. This thin layer has a lower refraction index than the glass, which limits the first reflection. You can see below diagram for Fresnel's laws. Next slide is Ashra parameterization, deprecated. In the past, the IM function has often been estimated using the Ashra parameterization proposed in the years 80s by this American norm organism depending on one only parameter. You can see IM formula. For single glazed thermal solar modules, the usually accepted value for Bo is of the order of 0.1. But in APV module, the lower interface in contact with the cell presents a high refraction index and our specific measurements on real crystalline modules actually indicate a value of Bo is equal to 0.05. Next is Sandhya model, deprecated. The Sandhya IAM model has been used in the past for modules belonging to the Sandhya database, not supported anymore. It is based on a fifth-order polynomial interpolation, hence relying 6 coefficients from B0 to B5. The model should not be used for models outside the database, although the option is available in PVS YST. In case one selects the Sandhya model nonetheless, the following default parameters are used. Next slide is front surface specification on IN correction, Fresnel and Ashra. We observe that the Ashra parameterization underestimates the IM value at medium angels, 30 to 60 degrees, and overestimates them over these values. 
The effects on the full year simulation may be studied in detail using the detailed study button in the detailed losses dialog. They depend on the meteor data, the plane orientation, etc. As an example, a simulation in Geneva gave Fresnel normal glass slightly lower than the Ashra, 0.25%. Difference Fresnel AR coating and normal glass 0.75%. Note that for bifacial systems the IM losses on the rear side of the PV modules are always calculated using the simple Fresnel model for glass without anti-reflective coating. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe to my channel. If have any question related in this topic please write down in my comment section.